Many of you know 32Soft as a developer for QAD. However, you may not know that we also provide consulting for QAD. And this is a great opportunity for us to learn about uh, our customer businesses, challenges, and uh, to be able to find solutions, check what works, what doesn't work, what can be done better, and also to be able to spot a, a trend. As a result, we come up with uh, products and services. And early on, we discovered that uh, QAD users specifically benefit by converting QAD reports to PDFs and Excel spreadsheets. And why these two formats? As turned out, uh, PDF and Excel serve mutually opposing needs. Excel format is helpful when you need further manipulation. Uh, when you need slice and dice the information, grab a piece of it, copy, paste a block, analyze, resort, calculate totals, and so on. Especially finance are, are big users, as you know, as, as they do uh, reconciliations, consolidations, and all that finance-related activities. Right? And then from the other hand, PDFs are helpful when you need to lock down the entire report from, from any changes or any manipulation. Uh, specifically useful when um, uh, we add graphics uh, such as logos, uh, legal notes, fine prints, all that slogans, right? And then typically used for uh, purchase order uh, print form, invoice print form, uh, accounts receivable statements, uh, order acknowledgements, um, uh, GL, uh, and invoice posting reports and so on. So, 32 printer is one of our early products that was built specifically to address that, that need. It's a desktop application and it converts QED reports to uh, PDFs and Excel. And let's see how exactly it does uh, create PDFs. We have a QED report on one side and a PDF, static PDF template on the other side. So 32 printer merged them together, simply overlays the template with the QED data, very much the same way as uh, uh, if you remember pre-printed forms uh, way a few years back. Uh, when we ordered like, you know, matrix, dot matrix uh, pre-printed forms and then uh, use them to print invoices and all that stuff, right? So that's the same idea, right? So it just overlays the, uh, uh, you know, static content with the uh, uh, QAD information. Right? So producing nice looking PDF document, which then can be immediately printed, emailed or shared. So how does it know, how does the, the, the program know how to merge specifically these two, the two documents? Uh, we create an INI file for each form where we set merge parameters, uh, PDF template, name and location, the computer font to be used, the left and top margins, space between lines and so on. So when 32 printer window appears, you'll be able to see the drop down box and with all these forms listed. And then you can have as many forms and templates as needed. Uh, the complete list of uh, page merge parameters is published on our website under a 32 printer user manual. And how to create PDF templates? Well, the easiest way is to use Microsoft Word where you can add graphics, boxes, lines, um, labels, logos, and fine prints, and etc. And then we can convert this, uh, this document into PDF. Then it's ready to use. Okay, so these are just a few uh, form examples we built in the past. And based on the requirement and complexity, some forms are created within minutes, others take longer, a few hours. 
and uh, yeah, this is how it's done. All right, so now let's talk about Excel. Well, the program reads and recognizes a QID report layout, and then it cuts the content into rows and columns, producing Excel spreadsheet. And 32 printer does a very good job converting properly the majority of QID reports. And that includes single frame uh, QID reports, uh, the one that uh, sample you see on my screen. We also call it uh, flat format, right? But it also handles uh, two frame for, uh, format reports. So these are typically reports with the header and detail sections, like for example, uh, sales order reports, right? So they have sales order has a header and the trailer information in one section, and it also has a, a detail section where with uh, all the uh, the line numbers, uh, part numbers, uh, dates and prices and qu quantities, right? So this is uh, the sample of that report. And we ha we have uh, quite a few of those in QAD. And now let's. Uh, uh, have a look into how it works, uh, uh, the program works itself, see it in action. Uh, I'm going to show uh, 32 printer with a, dot, uh, with a character interface, QGIS character interface. However, uh, the program works pretty much the same way with uh, .NET UI. The setup is slightly different, but the functionality, it, the way it works is exactly the same. So let me run invoice print first. So I'm gonna run, I'm gonna select uh, the output 32 printer and then the windows, uh, the window pops up like with the 32 printer uh, stuff, right? So I, I wanna make sure the, the, the invoice form is selected and then I just hit enter. The PDF is created and it, uh, it's uh, in my uh, Adobe Acrobat reader window. And uh, I can email it, I can sh save it uh, to uh, the network share, I can print it off if I, if I need to. Uh, and let me do this again, but this time I'm gonna run it. Uh, if I choose, for example, make PDF and print, so the same document is, uh, uh, is gonna be uh, printed silently going to be sent to my Windows default printer, right? So it's not going to bring me the pop-up. It'll just, you know, silently go to my Windows printer. Um, and then if I select this one, PDF, uh, make PDF an email and hit enter, the email message window pops up with the uh, PDF as an attachment here. Right? So I can, I can send it to uh, uh, someone, okay? So this is an invoice print. So let's look into uh, accounts receivables. So let me open it up. And this format, this um, a template has a, a blank background. There's no logos, nothing, just very plain. Uh, but you can have uh, with the, you know, a template with the watermarks, with the logos and uh, it's just, you know, it could be a landscape instead of the portrait. So it's, it's up to you what's the need. You can set them up. Now, uh, let's move on to uh, um, Excel. And here I want to show you uh, one of the finance report, um, the trial balance report. So if I run it to uh, uh, 32 printer and then select Excel, it generates the spreadsheet. And as you can see, it uh, looks good, All right? So I'm close it out. And uh, now I want to run uh, receivables to uh, also want to run it to a 32 printer. Similarly, a very, very straightforward, you just, you know, one frame and it looks good. Now, if I run inventory, to Excel, so that one has um, quite a few lines, so it's uh, 
let's see, wait, let's see it's uh, uh, something like 4,300 lines report. So, and then as you can, as you can see, this also looks, uh, you know, converted properly to Excel. And uh, I also want to show the uh, um, report with uh, two sections, the detail and the uh, header, uh, sales order report, one of those. We have um, some of the fields, uh, specifically the header fields, are repeated for each line, right? So that's what it does. It, uh, if, you, if you see this um, order number 10001, we have three lines, right? So, and, uh, uh, you know, all these values are repeated for each line, right? So if I, you know, move to the right, you see line number one, two, and three with different uh, uh, quantities, different part numbers, different uh, pricing, and different dates, right? So that's, that's what, it, what it does. All right, moving on to the next slide. 32 printer is good when you need to run one report or generate one document at a time. What if you need 200, 300, 400, or more? Or what if you need series of reports to share with groups of people? You need uh, some sort of automation, right? So that's what uh, um, we've been asked for. You know, can you do 32 printer in in the server, like in in batch mode, sort of thing? And we came up with this tool uh, called Lbox, right? So uh, Lbox is um, a server application which runs as a service, and uh, similarly to 32 printer, it converts uh, reports to PDF and Excel. Plus, it does emailing, right? So emailing, making it simple to automate many processes in, in QAD ERP system. And how does it work? Well, Lbox uh, is, um, uh, as I mentioned, is, uh, it runs as a service on any Windows uh, PC. It could be a PC or a server, it could be virtual, it could be physical. And these days, uh, virtual is preferable, right? So uh, uh, you just set it up as a service over there, and it's easy to install. Uh, you need to make sure the account that Lbox is running as has access to network share where uh, all the documents are stored since it's going to deposit new documents to, to that location. And because Lbox has no user interface, right, so um, no, uh, no pop-up window, like in 32 printer, you uh, specify all these uh, uh, parameters, all these selections uh, uh, in, uh, by adding different Lbox printers in, in QED output selection. Like for example, you can define QD printer called LB1 for invoice printing, LB2 for purchase order form, LB3 for Excel output, and so on. That's how it's done. Now let's talk about automation, what you can automate. Well, first off, uh, you can automate invoicing process, the whole invoicing process in QAD generating and just distributing invoices electronically, plus uh, invoice GL post reporting as well, right? You also can benefit by um, automating uh, distribution, generation and distribution of supplier schedules, um, uh, purchase orders, uh, receivable statements, and in, in, the, in fact, any, any documents that uh, need to be uh, uh, just generated and distributed out of QAD, right? And then, plus, you can also uh, uh, set up, like, periodic uh, reports to internal and external people, groups of people, right? So that also, if that makes sense. And uh, why auto-invoicing? Like, why you want to implement this? And then a few reasons. And first off, uh, there's a direct saving on labor, right? So you can 
it's it can, it's automated. It's no, no no one needs to do this manually right during the day. Uh, then um, since it's automated, no human errors, right? So uh, all the errors avoided. And here's the big one: all these steps run overnight on complete autopilot. And when you schedule it to run overnight, no no there were no no users in the system, right? So in overnight, uh, you avoid uh, record lock and issues. As you know, in voice print and post, very important processes in, in QAD, and uh, many database records are updated at the same time. And you also may know that uh, in voice print and post, when done manually during the day, it may collide with uh, other processes, with other user sessions, creating database locks, which cause a uh, uh, hard time for, for IT department and slows your business down. So when it's automated and run overnight on autopilot, everyone, everyone wins. No IT supervision needed, no lock-in issues, and business folks and finance don't need to run print and post manually. This is a big improvement for, for your business. But just want to mention that last year we ran a webinar about auto invoicing and we were actually going to email you a link to a replay of that webinar in case you're interested. And there we talked about options, how you can implement auto invoicing specifically. We offered uh, do-it-yourself instructions, uh, do-it-yourself uh, without any software, do-it-yourself with the elbow box, which gives you some extra features. Right, and then also I can. Uh, um, uh, there's a uh, we offered turnkey package, so we'll do it for you. Right? So if, if you're interested, and uh, as far as the output of the process, uh, customers, uh, your customers receive invoices via email with uh, PDF attachments, and the sample of this email is here on my screen. And this email uh, message can be uh, can be generic for all the customers, or it could be uh, could be personalized based on the customer. And so you can program that as well. And uh, PDF is attached, and just a sample here, the way it looks here. And then, uh, uh, okay, so emails are sent to customers. Optionally, this step can be included, right? So if, for instance, if uh, some of your customers say, oh, I don't want electronic invoices, I want a paper invoice. So those uh, are, uh, you know, invoices still generated and printed, right? So, and uh, it's part of that process. And then uh, the, uh, the supervisor of um, uh, invoice print and post will receive invoice uh, email distribution report daily, right? So in the morning they will receive, here's the summary. These invoices generated and these are the emails they were sent and these are manual invoices generated, right? And then uh, the uh, also the invoice GL post report is attached, right? So all, just wanna mention that uh, uh, 32 printer and LBOX both convert QD reports to PDFs and Excel 32 printer is a desktop application, one report or one document at a time, whereas LBOX is an uh, automation engine which routes documents massively via email. And because of the session format, we won't be able to show you all the features, but only main highlights. Uh, if you're interested uh, to explore more, both of these tools are available for trialing. One. And here are our upcoming webinars. And boy, do we have a special treat in June and July. With great excitement, we announced our partnership with longtime friend, colleague, and guru, Don Lindsay. Don will bring his expertise to you live first in June with the extraordinary value of MRP and in July, MRP best practices for best results. So. If there is anything about QAD MRP you want to know, be sure to join us for these sessions. Registration is already open for each. Um, you can register now and then we'll send reminders when each webinar gets closer. Also, 
I know summer hasn't even arrived. Please forgive me on this one. I don't want to rush away my life either, but we will again participate in both the Midwest user group and West Coast user group fall conferences. So if you plan to attend, please plan to visit. Not only is there a wealth of information to be absorbed, but we typically have fun, unique giveaways and you can enter our drawing, but come for the knowledge, of course. Okay, we'll go ahead and close out, but again, shoot us any questions you may think of between now and when you receive the encore. Uh, final thought is perception is real, even when it's not reality. I think we all know not to judge a book by its cover, but it happens. And in the business world, we want to look professional always. So if you're not ready for a major overhaul, and maybe there's no reason to even consider one, Alex has laid out some options. So if you need professional looking documents, decide which suits you and just do it. Thank you everyone very much for your time today. We do hope you will join us again next month for the first of our highly anticipated MRP webinars. Have a great productive day. Thank you all again.